Welcome to this edition of Borderland Treasures, sponsored by Preservation Texas and the County of El Paso. Today we explore a home connected to the one and only Pancho Villa. It's where the Mexican revolutionary leader kept his hidden treasure. Watch this. So there's all kinds of histories that converge in a place like this. In downtown El Paso. It was part of a grid of all kinds of activities. A home situated on De Leon Street. Underground activities. Built in about 1899. So whatever happened here in the streets of El Paso and houses like this would have a huge impact in central Mexico. Known as the Casa Clandestina. So this was an ideal plotting ground. Or Pancho Villa Stash House. It served to smuggle weapons, to carry out espionage. I would say that El Paso was Pancho Villa's favorite city. Historian David Romo says even prior to the Mexican Revolution, Pancho Villa, a Mexican revolutionary general, worked in El Paso. So there's all these oral histories that he worked taking care of fighting boosters, that he worked possibly one oral history says that he worked in a sarco. When the revolution began, Romo says Pancho Villa accompanied Francisco Madero, who challenged longtime president Porfirio Diaz for the presidency, sparking the Mexican Revolution. So remember, the Mexican Revolution was the first major social revolution in world history in the 20th century. El Paso was the perfect place for Pancho Villa, he says. It was right next to Mexico, but far enough so that it was difficult for President Porfirio Diaz or the Federals to come and, and capture them. Romo says the city served as the perfect plotting ground, and this home was used to smuggle weapons and hide valuables. The U.S. Treasury Department and intelligence uh, agencies were on the lookout. They would hang out in front of the house trying to see who was coming in and out. So 